The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all He has made. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Ann Cetus. I don't think God is good, a friend told Ann. Her friend had been praying for years about some difficult issues, but nothing had improved. Her anger and bitterness over God's silence grew. Knowing her well, Anne sensed that deep down she believed God is good, but the continual pain in her heart and God's seeming lack of interest caused her to doubt. It was easier for her friend to get angry than to bear the sadness. Doubting God's goodness is as old as Adam and Eve. Genesis 3 recounts how the serpent put that thought in Eve's mind when he suggested that God was withholding the fruit from her because God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. In pride, Adam and Eve thought that they, rather than God, should determine what was good for them. Years after losing a daughter in death, James Bryan Smith found that he was able to affirm God's goodness. In his book, The Good and Beautiful God, Smith wrote, God's goodness is not something I get to decide upon. I am a human being with limited understanding. Smith's amazing comment isn't naive. It arises out of years of processing his grief and seeking God's heart. In times of discouragement, let's listen well to each other and help each other see the truth that God is good. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. That's today's scripture reading from Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Let's pray together. Lord, we will praise you in our difficult times like the psalmist did. You know us, and we turn to you because we know you are good. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.